<clears throat> well, good afternoon, ladies and, and gentlemen. Uh, it's very exciting to be here. Well, we started from a, a simple fact, and this fact is that vision is a powerful trigger, I mean, it should be a powerful trigger for the daylight-based architectural design, right? Um, so we're working on a few facts. The first one is that we can use a daylight strategy, a visual strategy, while working on, on, on our, our projects, and a few visual tools. A visual strategy could mean many things, but the main thing is that we must remember as designers that we have a special task, which is to actually design a field of view for our clients. I mean, what, they are, what we are drawing and designing is something that they will actually see at the end of the design and building process. So that's our responsibility to make it happen in a meaningful way. Visual tools may mean different things. What we are doing now is just dredging up this kind of old-fashioned tools, meaning building models, that can allow us and them, our clients, our architects, to see what actually happens inside the buildings they're designing while interacting with the daylight field. And the second tool that we can use, a visual tool, is a, an artificial sun that some of you may have seen before while we were working at the breakout session, which is basically a flat surface, you know, a plan with a metal arc hinged on it, with a lamp sliding to simulate the direct light of the sun. Well, if you work together with models and the artificial sun, which are basically analogical tools that we're kind of, you know, dredging up from our, from our experience, uh, the architects are actually able to see what happens inside. And that's a very powerful trigger to, you know, to drive the architectural choices in a delightful, attractive, comfortable way. So what happens in the workshops that we're dealing, we're working with, with uh, many architects from, from many parts of, the, of Italy, and we've been working with, with these workshops in the last three years, is that we invite them, let's say 10 to 15 architects, they gather in a place that we choose, and we work together with them on their projects. We ask them to bring explicitly uh, ongoing projects, current projects, so that they can work with something they're committed with and not wasting time just, you know, learning or having fun. It's something very practical. And we ask them to build a model of the, of the project that they're working on and to kind of investigate if it's working or not while interacting with the daylight field. You know, seeing it from inside with a small camera, that's what happened before and this morning as well. We were actually running this workshop this morning, as you, some of you may have seen. That's interesting because many of them, I'd say probably all of them, they're kind of surprised. It's not something that they're used to, to do during their normal activity. And they're often very disappointed because what they wanted to happen inside their building, it's not actually happening from a visual point of view. It's a perceptual perspective that we're working on. Something different is happening, the space doesn't really react to daylight, um, it doesn't make much sense if, in, if focused on the distribution of the space, alignments and so on. So they keep coming and going under the artificial sun, they keep changing things like tilting surfaces, opening windows, closing windows, sometimes they just change the, the position of, I don't know, if, a staircase, for example, which is a powerful point to work on, double heights and so on, until they reach what we call a daylight goal, a daylight target visually. So we're not dealing with numbers, not in that situation, we're just dealing with the perception of the space. Uh, at the end of the workshop, well, they're kind of excited because they want to go to their clients and show them the progress that they've made and they can show with them pictures or videos and so on, or, the, or the, the model that they've done, you know, to justify the choices that, they were, that they're doing in, the, in, in that project that they're working on. Um, so it's something ongoing, something that's working pretty good, and we're meeting lots of private companies and firms and working with them, like 100, approximately 100 projects per year. The result is that, um, the buildings that 
are built after this kind of experience have normally a higher amount of daylight. There's more daylight in, in those buildings, they're more daylit. But above all, daylight tends to be like more clearer, more coherent, more understandable to them and to their clients. Therefore, their buildings are normally more attractive and more marketable. There's more people who want to live in that house, for example. They tell us that uh, they can sell their houses in less time, which is a great result for them. Um, their field of view, the, the, the visual field for the customers is often more comfortable, you know, it, and it has to do with, again, healthy buildings and so on. And they kind of learn strategies that can be repeatable. So if they're working, for example, on single houses or row houses, it's something that they might want to, you know, to repeat every time, learn strategies that can be used every time that they deal with a staircase or a kitchen or that kind of orientation of the building. Well, the last thing that I would like to say is that it's highly entertaining. So people who are attending this workshop normally end up being pretty happy about that. And that's it. I mean, if you want to know more, just ask your local sales representative and you'll know more about it. Thank you.